basically, when you look at, let's say, New Zealand right here, right? I have, oh, I guess in this map I have one city. So it's basically one city I have. But, oh, this is a, a world map also, 1942. So, but look where I am. Where I am at right now is, uh, I guess, Oceania. Oceania, or, or it's basically Asia. Um, but I'm, I'm all the way in the south. I'm in the most southern uh, sea zone province, sea zone 114. Um, and I'm close to the sea zone border where it crosses into the U.S. side of the Atlantic Ocean. We can see right here. It crosses, you go that side. So I'm the most far flung isolated nation, uh, except from like midway right here, or um, what is this, Marshall Islands? You know, and the only close relations I have would be with either the UK, counting as one, or either Australia, because they're the closest to me. Now, New Zealand. I cannot really get involved in a lot of the politics that go on, say, over here in Asia. If, say, World War II happens, right? And UK says, hey, you know, land some units uh, in Hong Kong. We need to distract the Japanese. Uh, I'll be over here, right? I'll be on my island. And to combine my armies, I need to move this unit off the ship, then move this unit off also. And why is that? Why is that a sh okay? Okay, never mind. I thought it was like a, a unit, uh, just a ship with freaking infantry. I don't know. But say if I need to go to Europe, that would take about maybe two turns to get my stuff together, and then run over to Europe, and to even be able to do stuff over here. Um, uh, and then say, um, say if I need to get involved in, I don't know, maybe just protecting that nation, like like landing in Australia and protecting them from an invasion. I can do that. But New Zealand is so isolated in this, just this area over here. It's like the far flung, it's like thrown over there. Like Madagascar, I think is more important than New Zealand. Basically because you're not going to have as many combat. If you're, say if you're playing Japan, if you're setting up your empire, right? You're trying to do an empire. You're not going to focus on what is New Zealand doing. You're going to focus on what's going on in uh, Burma, Siam, you know, Laos, what's going on in uh, Vietnam. Uh, Philippine, if the U.S. is defending Philippine, uh, you're not focusing on New Zealand. I mean, if you get to New Zealand, if you can help out the Dutch when they're doing their defense, then you can sit up there and you can help them. But, I think you should be more aware of, uh, like, you can't put, uh, like, Japan can attack me right now. But, why would he attack me? I'm, I'm really useless. I, you can only attack me because I have a city. Um, now, I don't think that in the, you know, when there's a game, I have a city. But, Australia does, so Australia would be a better target than me. It's like, I'm not really important. Uh, New Zealand doesn't have an importance to Japan, which is the leading, you know, Asian power who can become an empire, right? Or say if China, the Qing Dynasty, rose up, right? Why would they care about New Zealand? It's so isolated, just far flung over there, while there's politics going on and wars going on over here. You have Japan, you have them, you have the UK, you have um, India right here. You have Saudi Arabia, you know, and Iran right there. They don't care about Australia. Like Sri Lanka. It's not as useful as, you know, the, the mid um, Indian provinces, you know. But it's there. It's there and it's a good place to keep, like, your naval units moving around. Look at me. I'm over here. Does the UK really need me? Uh, what is he going to say? What are you saying? Hello. 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 But uh, I could send my forces over, right? But where? Like, where am I going to do as much damage? I don't think World War 36 my army is this strong. I think it's going to be like 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 units. If they're not as important as... Look at the... Look, Australia's, Australia's army. It's like really good army. Maybe 20 units, 20, 30 units in the, in the beginning game. But Australia as well is also isolated. And Australia as well doesn't really matter as much as, say, the Dutch Papua New Guinea or Dutch uh, Indonesia. Dutch Indonesia is very useful because it's a lot of islands. And, uh, you can defend those from the Japanese, and it would take a long time to take those, because it's, uh, I don't know what you're saying, but, um, it's a lot of islands, basically. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six, basically, places you need to land. If I'm, um, Japan, I'm probably gonna break my units up to, you know, a couple ships. But if I only have one ship, I can only really land and I can only land in one place at a time. Um, what are you, what are you talking about, Ryan? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, yes. Okay. But it's very hard to land on those those places, you know. And New Zealand. 
if they want to liberate an island or attack Japan, you need to be very careful of Navy. Or like any mission. Because I'm, I'm a very isolated mission. And why, why would the reason be for me to get involved in, you know, politics that are out, or any like wars or anything that are outside either in Africa or in, in South America or uh, North America or, uh, I mean Asia, yeah, but over here in China. I would rather want to take the islands of Australia and these islands are here. I don't want, like, what are you, what are you saying? What What is it called? Uh, just asking what my, my YouTube is. There you go. Um, but I don't really want to get involved in other, other you know, affairs and everything like that. I just want to either be isolated or be focused on what's going on in my circle. Like, what's going on with Australia? And Australia um, is a pretty big nation. They're pretty big in the start. Like, they're pretty powerful. And I, I don't want to mess with them either. But, oh look, Japan's right here. It's 87 units. Yes, I am. Uh, 87 units. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so... I can't mess with Australia, but this is just Australia, uh, not Australia, but, um, Australia and, you know, Japan, they're pretty strong, and I can't mess with them, but look at Japan, Japan in the base game, with, without all this stuff, is freaking overpowered, let me just L him, if you see if he accepts, but he's steamrolling through, freaking, oh, he, he, okay, but, he just steamrolled through Australia, he can steamroll through me, like, I'm, and New Zealand's not as important though, I don't really have that much stuff for a surfer city, but in the World War 36 game, I'm just a nation flung over in Southeast Asia that's really doing nothing. Um, and just an isolated nation. So, you can't really do as much because I, I as New Zealand, would say just, okay, help the uh, United Kingdom out in World War II and help them out with against Germany or something else, you know. Do like landings against uh, Italy and landings against like, you know, anybody in Africa or whatever. But that's basically it. See you guys and, uh, Hope you can understand why it's isolated. Uh, there's a lot of reasons behind it too. New Zealand just, it's not a bad nation, right? It's just very unimportant to use and very weak because look, you're on two islands. Like you have to make a ship to unite, unite those units. And if you don't, you can't move them. So that's, that's basically it. But uh, hope you guys did enjoy. I'm gonna put the outro right here and uh, give me your opinion if you think it's right or not. But I think Personally, New Zealand is too isolated, and New Zealand is not as useful in combat or, or like world affairs, except for just like making landings and distracting the enemy. That's basically it. See you guys.